Hello, I'm Guang Yu. I'm going to present GDN, a course to find representation for end-to-end sixth -end degree of freedom stress detection. There are two kinds of approaches to achieve this degree of freedom grasping. One of them is single stage, and the other is two stage. The two stage approach, which samples and evaluates multiple grasp candidates, shows good performance but is slower than the single stage approach. On the other hand, the single-stage approach is faster than two-stage approach. However, most of the two-stage approaches directly regress the orientation plot of grass poles and result in low grass pole diversity in terms of grippers orientation. To make this degree of freedom grass investor, we propose a single-stage grass detection network called GDN, which is more accurate and much faster than previous two-stage methods. And we propose a novel cost-to-find representation to achieve both high accuracy and high diversity of grass for our single-stage grass detector. The following clips are the demonstration of our method working on a real robotic arm. The intuition behind our C2F representation is that there are many variable grasps near the same position but with diverse orientation. We use a coarse grasp confidence grid to cover rich orientation diversity. The C2F representation is shown in this figure. The GDN selects some grasp points and predicts the 3D feature volumes. Each feature volume contains multiple coarse grasp and the residuals to refine the grasp. And the combination of the coarse grasp and the residual is the final result. This is the architecture of GDN. It has a structure like Poine++. Given the input protocol, the output is C2F grass representation. Here is the experimental result of single object grasping. Our method outperforms the previous two stage and single stage methods. Our method has the best for performance on wrong object, such as orange. And the results shows that we have an 8% more success rate compared to two-stage approaches. Here is the experiment to test the robustness of each method. The result shows that our approaches has minimal performance drop in very sparse point count compared to previous methods. Furthermore, our method is about 20 times faster than the two-stage methods in inverse time under the same configurations. Here is the qualitative result of post-diversity. Our method roughly covers the ground truth and has higher diversity compared to all baselines. Note that our method can even detect the grass behind the occluded part 
while the other single-stage method can't. Thank you.